Take a journey through these vintage photos and discover the stories of everyday people and remarkable events that have left a lasting impact on society. These images capture the essence of an era, showcasing fashion, technology, and culture that shaped our world. The summer of 1967 in London was filled with vibrant energy, as people from all walks of life enjoyed a pint and chatted about music, politics, and art in the incredibly groovy pubs. Cheryl Ladd, known for her role as Chris Monroe in the Charlie's Angels television series, quickly became one of Hollywood's hottest stars in the 1970s. Born Cheryl Jean Stoppelmore in Huron, South Dakota, she began her career as a singer and dancer before transitioning to acting. Her beauty, infectious energy, and captivating performances made her a legendary icon of the era. The young Michelle Pfeiffer of the 80s and 90s was a sight to behold, with her gorgeous blonde hair, striking blue eyes, and captivating smile, she quickly became one of Hollywood's most beloved stars. Mick Jagger's signature style and groovy shades made him the epitome of cool in his younger days, and he quickly became a rock icon for his electrifying performances and charismatic stage presence. Courtney Thorne Smith, a beloved actress for decades, began her career at 16 in 1986. In an early photo, she looks like a classic 80s beauty with big hair and a bright smile. During filming for the hilarious I Love Lucy episode, Lucy's Italian movie, Lucille Ball had to perform a scene where she stomped grapes in a barrel, an exhausting task. Cheryl Teague's iconic poster from 1977 captured the carefree spirit of the 70s and became a timeless reminder of a decade filled with optimism and possibility. Claudia Cardinale portrays the strong-willed Jill McBain in Sergio Leone's classic spaghetti western, Once Upon a Time in the West, bringing an undeniable charm to the role. Italian actress Claudia Cardinale became famous in the 1960s, particularly for her role as Princess Dalla in The Pink Panther, 1963. Her beauty, Grace, and charm made her a perfect fit for the role, and her captivating presence on screen brought the character to life. Cardinale was able to capture the essence of the film's comedic tone while still providing a sense of sophistication that gave the movie its unique flavor. Her delightful portrayal of Princess Dalla continues to charm audiences today, making The Pink Panther a beloved classic. The 1970s was an era of fun and self-expression, with crocheted hot pants becoming a popular trend, worn by celebrities like Cher and Farrah Fawcett, and still sought after by fashionistas today for a retro look. Dr. Seuss created an iconic drawing of The Grinch in 1957 as part of his book project How the Grinch Stole Christmas and it quickly became a holiday classic. Elizabeth Taylor's role as Gloria Wandress in Butterfield 8 earned her an Academy Award, making her the youngest actress to win at that time, and cemented the film as one of the most memorable movies of its era.
Elizabeth Taylor, a Hollywood icon in the 1950s, captivated audiences not just with her acting, but also with her enviable sense of style, as seen in an iconic photo of her taking a dip in a pool wearing a bold animal print bathing suit and short hair. In the 1960s, Elvis Presley was a true rock and roll icon with his signature black leather jacket, aviator sunglasses, and custom Harley Davidson motorcycle, which he loved to ride with his friends. Farrah Fawcett and Jacqueline Smith, stars of Charlie's Angels, were iconic women of the 1970s, inspiring generations of young women to be confident in their own skin and never give up on their dreams. Gene Hackman, an iconic actor, left a lasting impression with his 1975 performance in French Connection 2, playing the role of Popeye Doyle, a gritty and determined detective. In the 1980s, Jamie Lee Curtis made an indelible mark with her iconic performance as Laurie Strode in the classic horror film, and her body type was rarely seen on screen at the time, making her a symbol of strength and beauty for millions of women worldwide. On her birthday, we reflect on the iconic career of actress Lonnie Anderson, known for her role as Jennifer Marlowe on the classic sitcom WKRP in Cincinnati, as well as her work in films and television shows. The Honeymooners, starring Jackie Gleason as Ralph Cramden and Art Carney as Ed Norton, was a classic American comedy from the 1950s, known for its unique humor and unforgettable cast of characters. During his 1976 campaign, Jimmy Carter hopped a fence at LaGuardia Airport to make a plane connection, showcasing the spirit of his presidential campaign for change and progress. This determination ultimately won him the election as the 39th president. In the 1970s, jogging became popular with bright colors and short shorts, making it a fashion statement while staying fit. John Bon Jovi and Vince Neil were captured sharing a laugh backstage at the Manor Downs racetrack in Texas on July 4, 1986. Linda Ronstadt was a powerhouse in the 1970s, with an unmistakable voice and classic style that made her one of the most successful female solo artists of her time. Marty Feldman's portrayal of Igor in the 1974 classic Young Frankenstein is a comedic masterpiece that has been delighting fans for decades, with his signature bulging eyes, wild hair, and exaggerated movements. Prince's performance in the Bat Dance video from the 1989 Batman film soundtrack was a memorable moment in music history with his signature style and wild dance moves captivating audiences worldwide. His look for the video, a black leather suit, yellow boots, and purple-tinted sunglasses, perfectly encapsulated his flamboyant persona and became an instant fashion statement. Raquel Welch's film debut in 1966's Fantastic Voyage showcased her talent for comedic timing and her ability to bring depth to any character she played, while also setting a trend for future female action heroes.
In 1984, Sharon Stone and Tom Selleck appeared on an episode of the iconic show Magnum, P.I., marking the beginning of Stone's rise to fame. The iconic duo of Sonny and Cher Bono graced the cover of TV Guide on July 14, 1973, during the height of their fame, as they were starring in their own show, The Sonny and Cher Show. During the 1950s, Sophia Loren was known for her iconic style of tight-fitting short shorts and sky-high heels, which perfectly encapsulated the glamour of Hollywood's golden age. The M-497 Black Beetle was an iconic jet-powered locomotive that set the North American rail speed record in 1966, achieving a remarkable 183.85 miles per hour, and making it one of the fastest trains ever to run on rails. In 1953, Yvonne de Carlo became a timeless beauty as Lily Munster, instantly iconic for her sultry eyes, luscious locks, and captivating curves. Her career spanned over six decades, with roles in classic films such as The Ten Commandments, Band of Angels, and McClintock. In 1964, she took on the beloved role of Lily Munster in the iconic television show The Munsters, embodying the perfect blend of elegance and wit that made her character so memorable and endearing. Yvonne de Carlo's portrayal of Lily Munster remains one of the most iconic characters in pop culture history. The Mamas and the Papas, an American folk rock vocal quartet of the 1960s, quickly rose to fame with their unique sound and hit singles like California Dreamin'. Jamie Farr played Corporal Maxwell Q. Klinger in M. A. S. H., a character who continuously tried to get discharged from the army through various outrageous antics, but remained a beloved part of the show until its finale in 1980. Wolfman Jack, the iconic and mysterious disc jockey, gained fame with his deep, gravelly voice and high-energy performances on late-night radio shows. He became a household name after appearing in American Graffiti, introducing classic rock and roll tunes. His legacy lives on through his influence on generations of musicians and fans. In the 1970s, Linda Carter was a force to be reckoned with, with undeniable beauty and sex appeal, and an accomplished singer and actress. Her most iconic role was playing Wonder Woman on the popular television series, becoming a symbol of female empowerment and strength. Do you remember doctors Alan and Monica Quartermain from the long-running soap opera, General Hospital? The sound of laughter and cheers filled the air as friends and family gathered around to join in the fun, playing badminton in their backyard on a warm summer day. This is the iconic Minnie Pearl, beloved comedienne and grand ole Opry star, known for her hilarious catchphrase, Howdy. Wearing gingham dresses and leaving the tag on her hats, she quickly rose to fame in the 1940s and 1950s, with a career spanning over 50 years. Remember the days of watching Casper the Friendly Ghost cartoons on television? 
It was a time filled with laughter and joy as we watched Casper's adventures unfold. The character first appeared in comic books in the late 1930s, but it wasn't until 1945 that he made his debut in an animated short film. From there, Casper went on to star in many more films and TV shows throughout the decades, becoming one of the most beloved cartoon characters of all time. Watching Casper was always a fun experience, leaving us feeling warm and fuzzy inside no matter how old we were. Remember the days when Marlon Perkins and Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom first debuted on television in 1963? Viewers were captivated by the mysteries of nature and watched as Marlon explored the wilds of Africa, Asia, and more, bringing us along for the ride with his infectious enthusiasm. His interactions with the animals were always respectful and educational, making him an iconic figure in the world of wildlife conservation. Pepe Le Pew and Penelope Pussycat have been a beloved couple since their first appearance in the 1945 Looney Tunes short, Odorable Kitty. Despite Pepe's relentless pursuit of her, it is clear that he admires more than just her physical beauty, his appreciation for Penelope goes beyond her looks. The Whiskey A Go Go in Los Angeles in 1964 was the birthplace of the famed Go Go dance style, where patrons would dance all night long to the latest hits from the Rolling Stones, the Beach Boys, and other popular bands of the day. Raquel Welch, known for her iconic sex symbol status in the 1960s and 70s, made a memorable splash in her first leading role in the 1968 movie Lady in Cement. In 1965, Coca-Cola was a symbol of happiness and togetherness, bringing people together over one delicious beverage. In 1978, David Lee Roth embodied Cool with his first solo album and success with Van Halen, complete with his signature leather pants and long hair, riding a Harley-Davidson motorcycle. This iconic photo of Jim Morrison captures the essence of rock and roll. The Doors frontman stands with his arms crossed in a black leather jacket, looking out at the world with an air of confidence and rebellion. His wild hair and intense gaze draw you in and make you feel like he could be your friend or your enemy. It's no wonder that this image has become one of the most recognizable photos of the legendary singer-songwriter. A true icon of the 1960s counterculture, Morrison was a poet who pushed boundaries and inspired generations to come. This picture perfectly encapsulates his spirit and influence on music history. Janis Joplin's senior yearbook photo from 1960 is an iconic image of the legendary singer, capturing her just beginning her journey toward superstardom. In 1967, Jimi Hendrix surprised audiences at the Monterey Pop Festival by playing his guitar in unconventional ways, solidifying himself as one of the greatest guitarists of all time. In 1971, London-based Emerson, Lake and Palmer, ELP, released their debut album and took the world by storm with their progressive rock sound that combined classical music with hard rock. The band's lineup featured Keith Emerson on keyboards, Greg Lake on bass and guitar, and Carl Palmer on drums, and their groundbreaking live shows were filled with energy, technical prowess, and an incredible stage presence.
In 1964, the set of Mary Poppins was filled with energy as Dick Van Dyke and Julie Andrews brought their beloved characters to life, creating a magical experience for everyone on set. In 1959, Paul Newman was a rising star in Hollywood and his career had just taken off. He was often seen snacking on the set of movies he worked on, enjoying treats like popcorn and candy bars. His snacks were always accompanied by a thermos full of coffee to help him stay energized through long days of shooting. But it wasn't all work for Paul, he was known for having fun with the crew, cracking jokes between takes, and sharing stories about his childhood growing up in Ohio. In the 1980s, Queen continued to dominate the music scene with their sixth studio album, The Game, and their elaborate live shows. In 1955, Sophia Loren's career skyrocketed when she starred alongside Marcello Mastriani in The Gold of Naples, earning her international recognition and establishing her as one of Italy's most beloved actresses. In 1985, the iconic writer, director-slash-producer John Hughes was hanging out with some of his most beloved characters from The Breakfast Club, a group of high schoolers who had been thrown together for detention. The Stray Cats, led by Brian Setzer, Slim Jim Phantom, and Lee Rocker, had a unique blend of 50s rock and roll, country twang, punk attitude, and surf-style instrumentals, gaining them worldwide attention and critical acclaim. Birkenstock's iconic sandal design revolutionized the shoe industry in 1968, becoming a staple in fashionable wardrobes across the globe. With its signature cork footbed and flexible leather straps, it provided unparalleled comfort and support for feet everywhere, and remains as stylish and comfortable as ever today. During the 1950s, Hollywood was filled with excitement because of its glamorous stars Jane Mansfield and Jane Russell, who were often seen together at red carpet events, dressed in their signature styles. The Ingalls family of Little House on the Prairie has become a beloved and iconic American family, captivating audiences with its heartwarming stories of courage, faith, and family values. Jamie Gertz's role as star in the 1987 cult classic, The Lost Boys, has become a symbol of teenage rebellion and independence, resonating with audiences even 30 years later. <laughs>